Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. This is a review of the Seiko Astron 5X Titanium. This is the latest version of the Astron and note that these are pre-release samples so the movements are blocked. That's why none of them are moving right now. Astron is the name that Seiko gave to the world's first or their first quartz watch back in the 1960s and the Astron name was brought back as a title befitting their new GPS watch collection. That was a couple of years ago when a blog to watch debuted the very first Astron and we've seen it through a few generations and now this here is the latest is the 5X titanium Astron and it's it's actually really fantastic. It's not an inexpensive timepiece. Um, there's definitely people who this is going to be for. If you don't travel um, maybe this is a little bit overkill for you, but this is a very attractive watch and I'll tell you more or less what it's about. So let's get one of the, the pieces here. This is coated in black. All of these watches are in titanium. That's why they're called the 5X Titanium. And the case diameter is 42.8 millimeters wide. One of the things that you'll notice about these, this generation of the Astron is that it's much lighter and much more wearable, thinner and smaller. The Astron was quite a large watch when it first came out, and the reason was because it needed to have an antenna in there. And there's a little bit of a battle, an arms race, if you will, between the Japanese great brand Seiko, Citizen, and Casio uh, with GPS watches. And the Astron has really been able to hold its own. This is kind of cool. It's a very stealthy model where you can just sort of see the hands there, um, and the dial elements are a little bit more subdued. I think this is a very, very cool model. The watch, what it does is it's a quartz watch. It's solar powered, which is, which is very useful because uh, the GPS signal takes a, a lot of juice. And it's able to update the time and calendar with uh, a signal from a GPS satellite anywhere in the world. So it's very, very useful as a travel watch because it can automatically update itself uh, wherever you are and it knows the time without your intervention. The watches are really light and comfortable and like I said, compared to the first or even second generation of the Astrons, infinitely thinner and more wearable. So Seiko did an amazing job and the detailing in the case is, is quite exemplary. I really think that these are an attractive looking dial. They very much remind me of Grand Seiko. This was, this was what represent the, uh, I guess you could say the, the basic model. Uh, it comes in a few different dial colors. This is blue, there's also a black and a silver dial there. And again, the, the purpose of this watch is on the dial is to show you the main time, a secondary time zone, an AM PM indicator and the very small dial. Here you have a day of the week indicator. Over here you have a couple of other bits of information, but in general it's going to have the, uh, the power reserve of the movement. Um, you also have indicators there uh, whether or not it's able to receive signal. There's a lot to talk about the Astron in terms of how it works. We're not going to be able to cover that in this video, but when you read the review and the materials that Seiko offers, you'll get a better understanding about how to use this watch. I remember that using uh, the live Astrons in the field, I haven't been able to use these because they're obviously um, not, not functioning, it was impressive about how quickly the watch was able to receive a satellite signal. These two are limited edition versions. Uh, this one here has a green ceramic bezel. It's kind of an interesting model uh, for sure. Uh, you don't see a lot of green ceramic out there and this is sort of a dark hunter green ceramic which means that the bezel is going to be just that much more scratch resistant and again this is a limited edition. Another limited edition and this is, this is a far cry uh, higher in price than the other ones. Uh, this one is honor of um, uh, Mr. Hattori, who I believe was the, uh, the original founder of Seiko. And this model has a faceted, see facet cut, you can see it gently there, ceramic bezel, some gold tone elements, uh, and a unique case back there with some special messaging. This is probably the most handsome of the Seiko Astron 5X titanium models. But again, it's definitely in a completely different price range than the other ones. Um, it also has some special packaging and things like that. So this version right here, um, the Hattori limited edition as I call it, is really a very special watch for collectors. This version tops out the range at $3,900. So it's quite an expensive um, model because especially since it's so different than the other ones. But again, I think the people that are really into Seiko collecting are really gonna appreciate this one. And some of the special details are quite cool. 
The Seiko Astron 5X Titanium Collection uh, is normally $2,500 in uh, naked titanium, if you will, and the IP plated black versions such as this are $2,700. And you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.